student, myself uh, Bhadendra Sarma. I am doing PhD in Marine Biotechnology Laboratory under the guidance of Professor uh, Dina Bandhu Sahu. Today I am going to show you the how we will extract the agar from the uh, one of the red algae, who was the most popular known red algae that is called Gracilaria varicosa, which are generally found in a sea water. The first step for the extraction of agar is to weigh the material. First, we take the one gram of material uh, from the uh, from the stored material. Now, I'm just going to weigh the material. Okay. Ah, now, the second step is to cut the thylus in a small fragments. Okay, now I am going to cut the thallus into uh, small fragments. Okay, so see the see carefully what I am doing. So you can cut the thallus from any of the object. Uh, I am using a, a blade. You can cut the scissor also. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the way. How can we cut the thallus? So now, now transfer the thallus into a, a beaker. Transfer now hold the thallus into a beaker. Uh, now. Uh, we are going to use the 5% NaOH. Uh, uh, we generally use the 20 ml of NaOH, 5% NaOH for uh, 1 gram of material. So I am going to weigh the 20 ml with the help of uh, measuring cylinder. Okay. I measure the 20 ml 5% NaOH and just pour the NaOH into a beaker. Okay. Mix, uh, mix the thallus with NaOH. Uh, you can cover the beaker with the help of muslin cloth or uh, aluminium foil. Uh, now, now, now we are going to incubate this at a boiling uh, temperature in a water bath. Okay. So our next step is to incubate the material into a water bath. Hmm. Uh, this is our uh, water bath. Now I am going to incubate this uh, solution. Uh, which are uh, mixed with air, which is contain 5% uh, NIH and the uh, thylus. Uh, I'm going to incubate into the water bath uh, at a boiling temperature. This is the water bath, okay? So I'm going to incubate it in a water bath. Just keep the material in a, in a water bath, okay? And leave for a uh, ha one and a half hour. After one and a half hour, we get the uh, material like this. Uh, after incubation, uh, for one half, one and half hour, now we will uh, we we will wash the material in a tap water. Uh, generally, we wash the material two two to three times. Wash the material. We are going to wash the material with the help of a muslin cloth. Just open and uh, uh, pour the pour the material into. Uh, muslin cloth. Now I am going to wash the material. Okay, see carefully in a tap water. Uh, generally, we wash like this. Yes, now squeeze the material. Again, wash the material. Okay. 
failure in 1.5% one five, one H2SO4 for, uh, for another half an hour. Okay. So uh, I just transfer the material into a, a beaker. Now I am going to measure the 20 ml of 1.5 percent H2SO4, pour the solution into a beaker. Mix it and leave for half an hour at, a room, uh, at room temperature. This is wash material which are incubated into 1.5% uh, uh, H2SO4. Uh, after a half an hour, we will do our next step. So, uh, now the next step, our next step is to again wash the incubated material uh, which are, we are already incubated in 1.5% H2SO4. Again, wash this. So I'm going to wash the material. Okay. Our ma uh, washed over material. The next is transfer the wash material in a beaker okay, which we had treated with 1.5% uh, uh, H2SO4. I am transferring the material in a beaker. Okay. Now the next step is uh, we will boil the uh, this material on a hot plate uh, by mixing uh, distilled water. We, will we generally use 20 ml of distilled water for the boiling of the material okay then uh, now I am tra uh, transferring 20 ml of distilled water the next step is uh, uh, we are going to boil this on hot plate so I am boiling this uh, we will boil the solution till the volume become one third of the original solution Continuously shake the solution when you are kept on a hot plate so that material will mix. So we boil the solution till the volume become one fourth. Uh, when your uh, volume uh, reduced to one fourth, then uh, just uh, take the beaker and uh, transfer just for the help of muslin cloth into a uh, pet. Now squeeze the material with the help of muslin cloth and collect the collect in a petri plate. Okay. Okay. After solidification, uh, after extraction, uh, we leave this. Uh, but, uh, leave the exudate for the some hour and after the uh, some time the agar becomes solidified and look like this this is your solidified agar 
which we extracted from the gracilaria varicosa which is a red algae generally in, grow in a sea water and one of the chief source for the production of agar